Now, authorities are linking the frequent fire incidents in Accra to inadequate urban planning and behavioral issues. The capital city has repeatedly experienced fires that have caused considerable harm to lives and property. In this report, Berlin Landing speaks with key stakeholders about potential strategies to minimize, if not eliminate, these occurrences. The latest fire incident occurred on Wednesday, June 5, at Serko Ekumog in the Greater Accra region. The inferno raised several settlements, leaving many residents homeless and distressed. Following the incident, the Ghana Grid Company Limited, Gridco, attributed power outages in central Accra and surrounding areas to the fire, explaining that it had damaged parts of Gridco's transmission cables and conductors. The Makola market in Accra has also experienced a series of fire outbreaks, destroying goods worth millions of cities. Often, these outbreaks are linked to poor planning and illegal connections. The general manager of external communications at the Electricity Company of Ghana, Charles Ni Ayuku Ayuku, cautions the public against using uncertified electricians for electrical installations in their homes. Why would you want to engage the services of an unqualified electrician? And most of the time, these people are unqualified. They don't even know the right materials to use. And in some communities, because the uh, ECG office in that district is not aware of your existence, uh, you, you become part of the uh, distribution. It's always advisable that if you would want power or want supply in your district, wherever you are, you go through the right process. Don't go through the Guru Boys. Now it's even easier using the ECG power app. The Ghana National Fire Service, often criticized for the extent of damage caused by fire outbreaks, indicates that they are challenged by factors beyond their control. The assemblies are a major factor when it comes to uh, city planning and development. So all of these uh, uh, institutions have one or two things to do to ensure that our job is done effectively for all of us. At the end of it, because it affects us, it is the fire service that people criticize. We are just the end users. If other institutions fail, then you see the fire service failing. But in actual fact, it's not the fire service that is failing. Because if we don't have access to an incident scene, is it the fire service that creates routes? No. Fire service don't supply water? No. Fire service don't supply electricity? No. It is other institutions that come together to provide all of these things. And so if they are unavailable for the use or for, to assess by the fire service, why do you tend to blame the fire service? No. A city planner, Professor Ni Odate Mills, has said that poor urban planning contributes significantly to fire outbreaks. He, however, highlights the need to eliminate substandard electronic gadgets used in power installations. A lot of things do happen when things are not planned well. And you can see from the results we have, when things are not planned well, people are not really in charge of issues. Now, we first, we have a lot of... Uh, gadgets and then maybe uh, other accessories that do not meet the actual standards. So we have to first eliminate them from the system. So we can buy from a particular end, maybe a kind of standardization. We need to uh, make an effort and then focus on solving that problem. Once it's solved and it's planned, I mean, we wouldn't have problems with fire outbreaks and things. The Ghana National Fire Service also believes that fire incidents could be reduced if the public adopts safer practices and behaviors that do not foster fire risk. On our part as an institution, one of our mandates is education, and which we are doing very well. However, it is also left for the public to change their attitude. What we have found is that the problems that we are experiencing as a result of uh, not being able to prevent fires from occurring is as a result of attitudinal problems. If we're able to change our attitudes, most of these fires that occur will not occur. 
And so the individual has a role to play. And I advise strongly that any time we come to them, they should open their minds, listen to what we tell them, put them into practice, and we'll be able to reduce some of these fires which shouldn't occur. The ECG is also urging the public to collaborate with the institution to address illegal connection, emphasizing that such activities are criminal offenses. It's a criminal offense when you a customer does illegal connection. It's, it's a criminal offense because it affects the company. So we have the National Tax Force. We have uh, the same in the regions. We have in that district too. And we also en encourage our customers to uh, not just be spectators, but be citizens. They should inform us through our various channels. Let us know what is going on. Even when you feel there's something wrong about your meter, I mean your supply, you are encouraged to contact us. Stakeholders within the public safety and infrastructure sector have attributed the recurrent fire incidents to poor urban planning and additional problems. They are thus urging the public to use the appropriate channels when constructing settlements while urging the various relevant institutions to also play their roles. Reporting for Channel 1 News, Beverly, London.